If you've seen my VODs channel, you'll know that I've been grinding Lilo Company solo. This is a huge project because I've specifically been grinding to beat Quota 10 solo. For perspective, the current world record with four people is only Quota 15. This is completely unmodded, without even any quality of life mods like ship loot. I have to use a spreadsheet for tracking how much loot is on my ship because the scan caps out at like 600. Now besides the fact that as solo, you only have a quarter of the available workforce that a normal lobby would have, <laughs> solo has some other serious disadvantages to playing with other people. The biggest being that you cannot die ever on a high quota solo run, or it's over. You have to gather massive amounts of scrap between quotas to save up for the last few, and dying wipes your ship. So goodbye to your three hour run if you die to any of the many ways that this game excels at killing you randomly. I've had some truly heartbreaking deaths. The whole learning process has just been a series of dying over and over. And when I finally succeed at quota 10, I wouldn't be able to fit that whole process in one video. That's why I'm making this. Consider this the Quota 10 training montage, where I show you about 50 runs that turned into nothing more than lessons on playing Lethal Company solo. And I've needed those lessons because I was bad. Look who it is. Time to go three in one, Chad. I see you guarding that screw. Bah! I think I overestimated my range. I'm not even sure I hit him once, actually. Bees are kind of the noob traps of the game. Not all that hard when you get used to them. Suicide when you're not. You have 20 HP, I can take four more hits. Okay, I don't know how you can tell that, but uh, thank you for the tip. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> I hate you, Smith. Things happen sometimes, you know? Because I want to submit my Q10 run as a speedrun, though, I've stopped messing with them because they're not allowed in speedruns, which I'll explain next video. But that hasn't stopped accidental B incidents. No prediction on this day, I'm just gonna leave once I get this loot. What kills you? I went too close to the beehive. <laughs> Just gonna shower off that shave. Sandworms are always dangerous. Though I'm on like a six sandworm survival streak right now, they can still kill the best in the business. I found that dropping everything, moving near a wall when you hear them and then sprinting at it when the ground rumbles is your best bet at surviving. But before that, I found a number of strategies that didn't work so well. You're pretty safe to move her. Here we go, Chad. <laughs> Fucking war. Good effort, Chad. We did not make the first quota as a solo. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I turned around and I ran. And I'm still running. Why is it just still fucking. Blah, 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 blah. I'm on a big ass cliff. What do you do? What does it take? Am I going to Titan after this? I don't know if I can afford it. Especially after I get sandwormed right now. <laughs> I know what I was thinking. I was thinking if I get up the fucking worm or something. Or get up the ladder. <laughs> well, it's a good run, Chad. It's a good while it lasted. Well, when it comes to price per weight.
Now, I don't bring shovels while playing solo. I'll explain why in better detail later, but the main reasons are inventory space, speed, and the fact that when you're solo, by the time you have no other choice but to kill something to access an unexplored area, it's probably time for you to start loading your ship and leave anyway. This does mean now that thumpers become a threat, and I play in the most recent versions, so no railing cheese. I didn't know he could get on there. I thought that was just gonna be like the railing and I was fine. Yeah, I've used the jetpack a little bit. Do they use that in solo runs? That'd be pretty sweet if they did. And if not, I would definitely. Um, You're not safe on these anymore. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played since, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thumpers are also currently fairly broken in that they work up to max speed while unaggroed after seeing you once. So when they see you again, they zip to you instantly and are pretty hard to get away from. The shovelless solution is really to just not. There's two entrances. Use them. Fuck! No, 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 no! Drop the shit! Drop the shit! Just get out! No! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I thought he was behind. <laughs> Brackens really aren't that bad, Solo. Just make the bugger go away and don't look too long. Still, that hasn't stopped a couple sneaky guys from finding my throat. That's just the most random shit ever, man. Solo sucks. Dude, stop hitting this clown horn specifically. Just four straight clown horn lightning strikes. Wow. <laughs> Just look around more. No! 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 Oh yeah, head crabs don't kill you solo. It's like one of the only solo buffs. All right, chat. Can we make it back? <laughs> no. They still take you to low health and would kill on a second wrap. Oh, so I recommend just listening and paying attention. Oh, it actually doesn't just kill you in solo. I haven't actually had one since this. You may not think that drowning would make this list, but March is a top three solo moon. So I had to do some limit testing. <laughs> Get up on water! I was right there! <laughs> No, I wasn't even close, though it may have looked that way. Going through a lot of attempts here. Hey, there we go. Time to glub glub again, chat. Let me refill my stamina. Wait, really? Oh. Oh, it would, never mind. I never stood a chance last time. Okay, no tid. I thought the top was right there it was not. This applies to every moon solo, but March especially. You do not want to be outside past like 3 p.m. solo because of the big guys. Oh, you're gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. A huge fan of this place. <laughs> okay, turns. <laughs> I believe these are the number one thing I have died to 
owing mostly to greed. Okay, hear me out. I have a really bad idea. <laughs> you can't disable turrets without the... You see what I mean? <laughs> but these things just spawn in the most absurd spots sometimes, and with Solo, it only takes a moment of wrong judgment to end the run. Uh, fucking classic! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a lethal company moment right there. <laughs> Back in. Okay. It was too close to the doorway. Or there could be a quick day. You know, I didn't think it would shoot that that high. We are getting to the point where I am going to be lost. No, dude! Ah! Really, you just die enough to these things that constantly knowing where to move if you hear a turret sound and understanding their vision cone becomes second nature, and you die a lot less. Eventually. Lightning does a great job of ending solo runs, just because it feels like it. Fuck this game, bro. Oh my god! You serious? <laughs> Our first time getting to Titan solo, and I got snapped from fucking... Yeah! <laughs> it's not fair, love. It's not fair. It's always S plus here, I think. Is it not? All the... It was a good chat, it was a good run, you know? It was, uh, it was cool. It's kinda gutting, but it is also kinda just, it's the game. Nowadays, I do put out four metal objects near my ship on stormy days to at least take some of the attention away. Not back then. I've only died to the Mimic technically once. The first day of the update that added them. It wasn't the Mimic that directly ended me, but more so created a paddock that got me killed. Sometimes people ask me what blink is, like it's a secret code or something. Like it's a cat blinking. There's not much beyond meets the eye. Why does it sound like there's another person walking over there? Oh my god, there is! Jesus Christ! <laughs> They can't leave, right? <laughs> yes? What the fuck? I wonder if you're pulling my leg. You're good at that. What did I just join in on? Walk on. No! <laughs> I heard him running on snow when I panicked. <laughs> of course, the dog had to be there. <laughs> ah! The mimic was going down the stairs, man. I also saw a nutcracker for the first time the very next day. That was honestly the most horrifying thing I've seen in this game yet. Oh, this is a fun way to go. Think I know I am a non-believer. The gang! Huh. Oh my gosh, my teammate. <laughs> a friend. My teammate looks kind of that kind of weird. Nah, he's just nervous. He doesn't.
<laughs> Skilled gameplay, I know. Coilheads are the deadliest enemy in Solo without a doubt, probably in Lethal Company as a whole. At the very least, they end your day. Worst, obviously, the run. <laughs> Take me off to anywhere else. What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there's another one. All right, fuck that shit. Man, that was the worst ever. <laughs> Ah, dicks and balls, bro. Oh, that's just double dicks. Double Ds! No! Oh, I fucking... Well, they're both there. Damn. Thomas decided... It was time to leave. Oh, I wasn't a spider. <laughs> that was a coil head. Dogs actually aren't that bad solo. You won't come back to the ship and find that your buddy led three dogs into your ship because you have no buddy. I wasn't able to kill any with a ladder though and had a few other incidents. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. So, I picked up and put it down because I wanted it to shut up, but I picked it up with it quiet twice and put it down just automatically without it occurring to me that it was quiet. And then, uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I... Okay, there were two dogs over by the shop. Happy holidays, I thought the giant went over there. <laughs> Actually, the number one reason why I've died to dogs has been whoopee cushions. <laughs> you could even say that I've died more to whoopee cushions than dogs. Okay. Here's the whoopee cushion, bro. <laughs> That's funny. On Q10 runs, I spend my first quota on assurance because of how quickly you can get to the fire exit. That too had to be learned. So assurance, actually. There's this strat that I only saw. I don't know much about it, but I'm just gonna try it. <laughs> Even landmines have gotten their turn killing my Is this a dead end? No. Oh, peak. Oh, this is a nice room. Oh, the greed inside of. Wait. What? What did I see? I saw something green. <laughs> there have been many more. In fact, my most depressing and soul crushing deaths aren't even in here. They'll come in the next video when I beat Quota 10 solo. Also, there are a few ways of dying that you may have noticed are missing. No, I haven't died to a slime during solo runs. I mean, they're just not that hard to deal with for anyone. The main reason for lack of ghost girl deaths is mostly because I barely made it to Titan during this period. Because holy crap, is she common as hell on Titan as a solo. I'm talking like 40% of the time, she's showing up on me at like 10 a.m. I almost want to go inside just to see what time that is. It's like at 8.15! Dealing with her can be annoying, but I pretty much just treat her like a timer for when I have to leave. Pay attention to when she shows up the first time. Don't look at her the second. Then get going by the third, because by the fourth visit, she'll for sure start hopping around for you. 
not that bad, but she's like the number one most common enemy I encounter, so I have died to her a couple times. What might also surprise people is the complete lack of Jester deaths, commonly referred to as the most dangerous enemy in the game. Well, not in solo. In fact, I would place the Jester with the slime in terms of danger while playing solo. And I've never died solo to the Jester. I mean, bro comes up to you totally non-lethal, just like, make sure you leave before he erupts, and then come back after like 15 seconds, or just leave for the day. Least dangerous enemy in solo. And with that, I return to the grind. I'll explain later why I only ever go to one of these three moons instead of the more common Dyn, Rend, Spam for high quota runs, my choice of items, and the ins and outs of my spreadsheet. Wish me luck. It was a good run. Uh, so that's our record. Solo 366. Pretty ass. But solo, solo is pretty ass. As you have not met the profit quota, your performance has been deemed the most stable. No. Welcome to I can't our run my process. shower? <laughs> the record player as it went out. <laughs> <laughs>